Hey there, everybody. Excited to have you on with me this evening. And I've got some awesome new Facebook tips for you. So if you're catching the replay, please type replay if you're excited to learn about some new Facebook tips that'll really help you drive your business onward and upward. Please drop a comment below and let me know that you're here. I'm just not sure if this is working because the, I've got a swirly thing going on over my head. So if you can see me or hear me, please just comment. Okay, cool. Yay, so it is working, awesome. So you're probably wondering what I've got going on back here. This is my new whiteboard because we're teaching. This is, um, we're going into Q4, right? The final three months of the year. And we are preparing for a, a big a new year. Our company's coming on $2 billion in online orders. What? <laughs> and I've been part of Lavelle for four and a half years and built my business here on Facebook and grown a huge following of thousands and thousands of people with thousands and thousands of views. In fact, my YouTube channel has now hit over 1 million views. Can you believe it? Yeah, I bet you guys don't even watch my YouTube channel, do you? Because you're all here on Facebook. <laughs> so I'm gonna teach you my, my um, tips for Facebook. Now, if you're curious about YouTube channel, you can go to elisetv.com, easy to remember. Um, so please, yes, hi guys, hi Justine, hi Chrissy. Hey, thank you for clicking the share button, Wendy. Love you. Oh, so good to see you guys. Okay, so here's what we're doing. I'm gonna share with you all some of my best tips for networking on Facebook because here's what I've learned. You can build relationships with people on Facebook for free. Did you know that? One of the ways that you can do that is by watching live videos and interacting with the person who's making the video. Because as a viewer, when you're dropping comments, what happens is other people see your name and then you can build friendships with people when you're watching live video. You can build friendships with people that you meet on fan pages. You can build friendships with people that you meet in groups where you probably have common interests or hobbies or maybe it's your location. Um, but fan pages, I love networking on fan pages because you're, for me, it's always been very successful to network with people on a fan page that we have similar interests. And you know me, I love motivational speakers and personal development and authors. And so those fan pages are a great place to interact with new people. So I'm dropping my best Facebook tips for you here. So that was the first one is interact with people that you don't know yet, right? You're getting to know them and maximize the number of notifications that, that Facebook gives them when you interact. Do you understand what I mean by that? If you wanna learn about notifications, drop the word notifications in the comments below. Let's see who's paying attention. Um, but basically what that means is every time that you tag somebody, you leave a reaction on their post or video, the, the smiley face, the like button, the heart button, the wow face, um, that person receives an, an, um, a notification, right? Uh, for example, at the end of this video, you guys will notice, I will do this with you as an example, okay? So you'll, you'll be commenting as we go through the video. As I am sharing information with you, you're sharing your reaction or aha moment or reflection. And then after the video, I come back and interact with you. I will, you know, type like or love on every single person who comments. I will comment back and I will use your name and tag you in the comment. So when, when I do that, Facebook is bing, bing, bing. They're pinging you with notifications. Now, we know this about branding. The more we see someone popping up into our sphere of influence, no, that's the wrong word, into our, um, whatever, circle, right? The more we see people popping up, the more likely we are to trust them. So you want to have good positive interactions where you're um, sharing supportive comments, you know, don't spam them. But if somebody, if you see someone's comment that you're like, oh, that really makes sense. Don't just hit the like button. Say, that is an incredible idea, Julie, and tag Julie in the comment. And also ding, click the love button. 
under reactions. So she's gonna get a notification that you commented on her comment, tagged her, and left a uh, um, little reaction, right? Three times. And so we're building the know, like, and trust factor. Now, again, when you're watching live video, you wanna be dropping comments because you're also interacting with each other. If you're a leader in the business, you wanna be tagging your team to tune in, right? Um, also, that reminds me, we're doing a giveaway. <laughs> Up and down for a you guys know I love to share the love and give back so I like to give away tripods okay so everyone who drops a comment today will be entered to win a tripod we'll announce it Sunday night and um, we're doing that in our team page as well so here's the thing as you're leaving these comments and you're um, interacting with people, yes, Brenda says, I used to spam in the beginning, thanks Elise. You know, who of you used to spam? Who used to always drop their link to their business and their product? And who used to send a random message to a complete stranger and say, hey, have you checked this out yet, <laughs> right? Like, that might not work so well today. People are getting a little more savvy with the internet. So, they and they have a lower tolerance for um, uh, intrusion. Does that make sense? I, I like to think of it this way. Like, when you're meeting somebody um, out and about or at a party, you don't just right away say, hey, let's go hang out under the tree by ourselves, no. Like you gotta build some rapport and some trust first. That's what live video does. You guys, here's the way that live video works. Facebook boosts your videos into the news feeds of your followers. So if you have a product that you're selling and you can be wearing it without being too obvious, right? You're not like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> but, but you know, I've got it on and yeah, your, your subconscious mind is probably picking it up and if you're tuning into the videos, you're probably seeing it more often. Or maybe you mix up one of your favorite drinks, Activate is mine, I have the watermelon, just a little tiny bit left because these Yeti cups don't melt ice. Mm. So, you can also um, drink your drink on, on the live video, right? Demonstrate your products that way. Do it in a way that's not like blaring in your face like a neon sign in the Las Vegas Strip, but instead, it's part of your lifestyle, it's who you are, right? So again, use your products, make them part of your video, but you don't necessarily have to always be saying, hey, here's my product and this is what it does and this is why you need it because a lot of people will just tune that out. However, if you show up consistently and you have an awesome personality and you grow your confidence, you're gonna notice that people will react in a very positive way and they will come to you for more information. They will send you a friend request. They will click the follow button on your profile. This is how we network online, okay? And here's another way to network online. I love this tip, you all. Get ready. Who's ready for the next tip? Drop it in the comments. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, here's what I want you to do. The, the, write this one down. This one is very, very good. So, for example, after the video, I'm gonna notice that there are a lot of you that left a reaction or a comment on the video, right? So on, a, on one of your posts or on one of your videos, even on if you're networking on a fan page, like you all know how much everyone is loving. Um, there's some new books. I'm not gonna give you the specific names because I don't want you all to go and like just spam these fan pages. So find your own, find your, find like pick a book off your shelf that you love and you know they have a fan page by that author and go there and interact with some of the people's comments. Like read some of the motivational posts that the author has put up, right? And then um, you're going to interact by seeing who has commented, tag them, right? Say, what, that, what an incredible idea, Candace, and tag Candace's name, smiley face, whatever, for the reaction. That's three notifications, okay. So then, here's the other thing. Now, notice, you'll probably see some people look interesting. You probably feel like you can resonate with them. This is a word, you all write this down, resonate. <laughs> that means that you jive. Resignate means you quit. I always hear people use those words wrong. Wendy, I'm calling you out. She does it all the time. I'm like, Wendy, it's resonate. Anyway, back. That's gonna be my new thing, back. Okay, so 
Um, yum, 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 yum. Where am I at? Oh yeah. I actually have notes, you guys. How do you, how much do you love it today? Um, so you go to their profile. Okay. Now these are the people that you resonate with that you see on these fan pages or you're interacting in groups. Choose a couple groups, right? Grow some relationships and friendships there. Don't just be like a hop group, hop group, hop group. And you know, that gets old. That's spammy. People don't like that. There's no friendship that builds. So what I want you to do is you see the people that you resonate with, pick about 10 per day. Can you guys do 10 per day? 10. Type in the comments. I can reach out to 10 new friends a day. Now this isn't you going and sending friend requests because remember, we need to have some conversations first before we go hang out by ourselves under the apple tree. <laughs> so you're going to um, pick, go to their profile, right? And if it's a public profile, they look like they have awesome uh, content or they just look uplifting and inspiring. I mean, who do you want to work with? These are the people you want to network with and grow friendships with on Facebook, Instagram, you all, this is the same story there. Same story. So let's say you reach out to 10, 10 new people a day, and it's not a message. It's go to their profile, like some of their posts, add some authentic comments and do that to, with 10 to 20 people a day. You pick. But my bet is you will have people that will friend you as a result, especially if you've cleaned up your profile <laughs> and it looks like you are a fun, happy person that it's not only all about one thing or another, okay? And I know it's always such a fine balance, isn't it? Because we represent such an incredible product and we wanna talk about it all the time. But remember, the people that have been following you or the people that are checking out your profile because you've commented on theirs and shown them some love, they're gonna make a snap decision on whether or not they wanna talk to you. And so if you look like you've got a friendly profile that's um, uplifting and inspiring and you have also committed to sharing a video every day, yes, I said every day, it can be short, but you need to teach something, okay? People want to be taught and entertained. Maybe you're really funny. Maybe you can pop on and do some kind of funny, humorous comedy routine. I can't because I can't think of any jokes. But <laughs> I can get on and rattle on and rattle on and teach some content that I hope is adding value. Have you guys gotten value out of this today? I hope so. Yes, <laughs> no Lavelle promo flyer as your profile picture. However, Carmel, right? A profile picture that shows your DFT is a really good idea because people get curious about that. So again, that's you showing and using the products as part of your lifestyle, but it's not join my team and buy my stuff, you all. That has never been my angle with networking online, okay? What if they don't have where you can comment on their page? Then you go to somebody else. These are strangers, it doesn't matter, right? You're just, you're networking. You're, it's like you're, have you guys ever been to a live networking event? If you have, type I have been to a live networking event and if you have not, type I have not. Um, because I used to go to, live networking events weekly for years. So I learned how to network. I learned what works and what doesn't. And it applies online just as well. And what I learned was so many people have so many different issues and challenges. And really all you're doing is building a friendship because people will buy from people they like and they trust, okay? And here's the thing, people want to feel heard. So if you haven't read How to Win Friends and Influence People, it's time to read it. In fact, they even have a new book called How to Win Friends and Influence People on the Online World. Have you guys read that book? So good. I mean, it's these principles. It's these principles. I'm teaching them to you for free. You don't have to go buy the book, apply what I'm teaching. <laughs> but what I'm saying is you have to build friendship and value. And if you are not in the habit of doing that, I would say go to some live networking events. You can go on Facebook and find events in your location. And anytime you put yourself outside of your comfort zone, you will grow as a person and an entrepreneur and become more empowered. You will feel uncomfortable, but that's part of life. Hello, we're all here to do life and it's challenging. So get over it, right? Just accept it. <laughs> And so I love that book. I apply it 
to my everyday life, my interactions. I make time to network with people online and build friendships that add value. I make time to go to their profile and show them some love. I make time to do follow-up by looking at who is commenting or liking my posts and going to their profiles and giving them some love because then they're the ones sending me the friend request. It's so much easier to, to start talking about your business, your products, your opportunity when they are the ones reaching out to you. Okay, so much easier. And um, guess what? My podcast is coming out very soon. I have a podcast director, I guess they're called a producer. They're stripping the audio off of my videos so that you guys can access them at any time. Yay. Um, so anyway, all the comments that you guys are dropping is entering you to receive or enter to win a tripod. And um, hopefully this has been helpful. You guys liking this, liking these? Um, also, we are talking about the events and doing Thrive Lives, so I want you guys to really focus on what I'm going to say right now. Make the decision to do it. You may have been scared in the past to enter the game of the Facebook Live world, but now it's time. Okay? It's time. Because you have a business that you're growing and you need to be seen and heard by people who need what you offer. Yes. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> I do get fired up. Um, so when, when you've made the decision to go live, the best thing that you can do is write it in your calendar that you're gonna go live, okay? So that's step one. Well, probably step one is to say, I am going to go live every day, or I am going to go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I am going to interview my newest Thriver, right? If you guys do that, that's step one. Now you're committed. Step two is put it on the calendar. You're an entrepreneur, you're empowered, you show up for you, and you are a woman or a man of your word. So if it's on the calendar, it's happening. Am I right? Like who books an appointment at their hairstylist or their doctor, puts it on the calendar, and just says, eh, don't feel like it, not going. Hmm. Who does that? No empowered entrepreneur does, because they're a woman or a man of their word. So the same goes for building your business. When you're, there's something you don't want to do, you got to schedule it. You got to show up. You got to go. You got to go anyway. I mean, who wants to go to the dentist and get a root canal? It feels better once it's done. I mean, same deal. If your business isn't growing and you're not doing live video and you're not meeting new people, right? And you're not building your network of, of followers and prospects, then it's kind of like the same thing. You gotta get, gotta schedule it, and you gotta get the root canal. <laughs> like, then you feel better. And every single time you go live, you get more confident. You get more effective at interacting with the viewers. You get more effective with where to look in the camera. I mean, I'll be the first to admit, I always forget to look in the little camera holy thing over here, and I just look at myself in my eyes because it feels like I'm talking to somebody. And some people are like, look at the camera. And I'm like, I forget that it's there. There was one time that I put a sticky note there with a red dot. And that reminded me to look there. <laughs> so whatever works, right? We just do whatever works. Another trick I used, which I shared earlier, is if you want to go live, is you've got to do something for a tripod. So it holds your camera steady. So you can prop it up. This is what I used to do. I would prop it up on the windowsill of my, of my window, and I would use the natural light to highlight my face because people will, they're more intrigued, people are very visual, they like to look into someone's eyes and have a, you know, like a clear background. This is my new whiteboard, which I'll be teaching with. Yay, I'm excited. Um, and, but I gotta figure out how do I go live and teach at the same time, because I gotta have the camera reversed, otherwise this will be backwards. Ugh. Challenges, but, Here's the thing, when we practice, yes, then we get better. And only through practicing do we get better, and so clearly it's in the doing, right? So you gotta commit and you gotta do. Um, now, the thing about doing Thrive Lives and doing events to share your products and what we're doing and how incredible we feel is when you, when you book a Facebook event on your personal profile and you bring in your co-hosts, right? No, I'm on my iPhone. She asked if I was on an iPad. Nope, I'm on my iPhone. Um, but then I can bring um, my co-hosts on to that event. And as we build up to the event, we're adding value. We're doing value-based posts in the event so that people 
are getting some value and they're starting to invite their friends to, to watch it as well. Um, the day before, go live on your personal profile and teach something about why your products work or what your business opportunity has done for you. Or maybe you share your story on how you felt day one, day 10, day 30. Maybe you show your picture, your before and after picture, right? These are very impactful things. Think about how visual people are. And Facebook, again, use that algorithm. Facebook will feed your video into the newsfeed of your followers. And the more people that comment on your video, then the more people will see the video. Do you see? So and then after that, you share your video right into the Facebook event and all of the people that are in the Facebook event will also get notified, right, the, for the video. And then you'll go live and you'll do your interview the, at the scheduled time of the video on your personal profile. Then for follow-up, here's key. Type this in the comments, I will follow up. This is key. And leaders, you gotta teach your teams how to do this. This is key. Also, we have all this info in the vault. Aren't you guys excited to print that out? See, I have it right here. <laughs> Go live. Um, so then when you are committed to your follow-up, now you've got to get strategic. As a business owner, you've got to say, okay, these are the days that I do follow-up, and this is the time, and this is all I do, right? I don't go drown in the news feed on Facebook or Instagram. I don't go get wrapped up in some drama happening in my family, friends, or my team. I do my follow-up because my business depends upon it, and that's where the gold is. The fortune is in the follow-up. Type that. Fortune is in the follow-up. And so here's the thing, you all. You're going back to see who interacted with your video and your post. Also, if you're regularly doing follow-up and you're interacting with the people prior to the event, that you want to attend the event and you're interacting with them on their Facebook, then they're gonna see it because Facebook feeds it to them. It's incredible. These are the tricks that work. <laughs> so now I want you to think about, okay, when am I gonna do my follow-up? Okay, type in the comments, when are you doing your follow-up? Now, if you have people's phone numbers, I will be the first to shout it from the rooftops that talking to somebody Smiling and dialing is highly effective, but you're not me, and you might not be as comfortable with picking up the phone and just chatting people up. You know, I um, taught myself how to do that, having failed public speaking in college. Yes, I did. And um, had to learn how to interact with people because I had no confidence, none, none, no self-confidence. And so I made the decision, though, that my family's future depended upon me becoming confident. And I made that one of my mantras. Yes, Carmel, I called her. <laughs> That's right. And Blair, I called her too. Um, so essentially though, you make that decision. You're smiling and dialing. Yes. That's one of my favorite phrases because if you have their phone number and you saw that they watched your video, I mean, it's not that big of a stretch to just pick up the phone and say, hey, Carmel, I saw you hop on that video that I did the other day interviewing my friend Lauren, I'm making this up. <laughs> and um, I know she was sharing about how, you know, she just resisted these three simple steps. She didn't want to take them. She thought it, that it was just junk, you know, more junk out there on the market. And um, anyway, she finally did it. And she's a teacher and she loves what these products have done for her. And I was just curious. What, could, what information could I share with you to help you get started with your Thrive Experience? What information do you need to help you get started with your, your um, Thrive Experience? I know you guys aren't typing anymore, are you? Because you're writing notes. Ah, I'm like totally doing this on the fly. But that essentially is all you need to do. Pick up the phone, connect about whatever it is that you saw them you know, watching on your Facebook, um, relate to something you know going on in their life, and say, what other information do you need to help you get started? Like really, that's it. Oh cool, I can send you an eight minute video. Oh cool, I can put you on the phone with my friend Kevin. He's a former state trooper and da 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 da, da right? Like, like whoever it is that you can pull in for validation, that's when you do it. If they need the video, great, watch the video. If you need to three-way call them onto your recorded corporate line, perfect, do it, right? Like connect them to the more information the next step. Yeah, what information do you need to get started? Absolutely, so simple, so easy. 
All right, so hopefully you guys have loved this. Drop your comments. Don't forget to tag your team so that they get this awesome info. And um, I'm trying to, let me just take a quick moment as you guys are commenting so I can make sure that I haven't skipped any of my outline. It's very unlike me to come to a live video with an outline, but I am finding that it is highly effective. So I'm gonna do that from now on. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I think that's good. Yeah, so basically you're looking through your um, comments, your on um, the posts or the reactions on the posts, and you're also popping over to their profile and you're showing them some love on some of their posts, you know, just commenting, liking, loving, wow face, um, giving them some feedback on whatever they're posting or interested in. And you'll see, it'll build a relationship real quick when you do this, okay? Did you guys enjoy it? Thanks for tuning in today. Um, if you're in our team, make sure to hop into the vault and print these off. This is how to go live and how to host a Facebook Live Online Local, also known as Thrive Live. And leaders, we are on uh, doing a total blitz to help our team members become more confident using video. So share this video with them and ask them to do an interview with you on a Thrive Live. And again, create a Facebook event for that, and then go live prior, answer and interact on the event, do your video interview together, and then do your follow-up. That's the key, okay? Do your follow-up. Hopefully you guys have liked this video. Amy, I just saw you popping on. You're gonna have to watch the replay. It's really good, if I do say so myself. Um, and then tap up here on your screen, top right, or if you're on a computer, it's the three, dot, three dots on the right, and it'll ask you to turn on your notifications when I go live, because I've got a ton of awesome content for you that is going to create incredible success in your business, right? And if it doesn't, then we gotta do the personal development work, don't we? Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, building this business is easy. It's the stuff up here that holds you back, always. So, and on that note, I'll be seeing you in Florida. Who's coming to Florida? Drop a comment, I'm coming to Florida. And if not, will you come to the next one? I hope so. Thanks for tuning in to you guys, and I look forward to coming in back and seeing your comments and what your takeaways were. So don't be shy about dropping a comment and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.